Hi, this is Kung Fu Android, and today on Tutorial Tuesday, <laughs> a suggestion by one of my by one of my people um, is uh, uh, to do tutorials on Tuesdays. Yeah, okay. Guess what? I'm going to do a tutorial on a quarry. I just did a six series or six episode series on build on the intricate details of building a quarry. And <clears throat> wow. Yeah, that's that's not going to be great. So what I am going to do is just run through quickly all the machines you're going to need. You're going to need electric furnace, a compressor, the plate bending machine, a industrial electrolyzer, a industrial blast furnace, um, you're going to need an induction smelter, a pulverizer. Look, I still had two pieces of gold left over. Um, a liquid transposer. A magma crucible. A rolling machine. I needed every single one of those. And a blast furnace. You're going to need a power source for both EU and MJ's um, I'm using power converters to go from EU to MJ um, to power this quarry directly I'm using an energy tesseract um, powering a quarry takes uh, takes MJ's um, I did a test in a creative world uh, with those power converters and it said on me inputting medium voltage that it was uh, outputting 54 MJ to the quarry and it was flying absolutely flying quarries have changed a little bit okay for this quarry we're going to need I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there we're going to need uh, my tesseracts. Okay, and I have, and this is this is the easiest way I know to set one up. I have my energy tesseract, and I have two item tesseracts. Um, for the item tesseracts, I'm just going to go ahead and set that one next to a chest. Um, we're going to get some wood uh, just a piece of wood uh, we're gonna grab iron which is probably gonna take more than that and we're gonna get some gold actually it's probably gonna take about half yeah it's probably gonna take about that and I'll be right back. Okay, here real quick, I am going to create a iron, a normal chest to iron chest upgrade, and I'm going to create a iron to gold chest upgrade. Uh, and I'm going to take and upgrade this chest to iron and then to gold and then I'm gonna grab it for extra I'm just doing that for extra room take my build craft wrench I'm gonna grab this item test rack because we're gonna go out into the world here to demonstrate how this works uh, 
Um, well, this ought to do. I don't want to get too far from my place because that's where it's getting his energy from and it's not chunk loaded. All right, first thing you want to do is you want to place your landmarks. Place your first one. I forgot. You're going to want redstone torches. There's one. And sticks. Sticks. It's not going to do it. Wood. All right. So, what the redstone torches do, okay, let's head back. I decided to change our location to the wasteland. What the redstone torches do, and this is why, is it projects a beam 64 blocks in all directions. And that lets you know the maximum size of your quarry. So you at the end of the uh, at the end of the beam, you set your next landmark and put down a redstone torch, and that'll tell you the maximum distance down here. Now you want to place your landmarks in line with. Uh, do I got any? Nope, don't got any blocks. Uh, in line with the other landmarks so you'll need to build up your locations oops <laughs> not like that you will want to build up your locations so you can uh, properly place I think that's right your landmarks just like that now with three of them, you ought to be able to go to one of your landmarks. Let's let's go to this one and right click on it and see that red uh, boundary that was made. Oh, look at all the mobs under the ground. That's crazy. All right, that's that's going to be the size of your quarry. So outside and right next to one of your landmarks, you'll place your quarry. Bam! Hmm, the landmark popped, but it didn't build the boundary box. Let me log out and log back in. Yep, that did it. Logged out, logged back in. Fixed the boundary box issue. Okay, so see that landmark popped off? And we'll run over here and this one we didn't we didn't place one wow the mobs are nuts okay and we'll come down and grab this last one now we have all our landmarks back all our redstone torches now it comes time oh I better eat By the way, I'm doing this in my Let's Play world, so, yeah. Alright, now, we'll put down a, um, a item tesseract on one corner. All the items will go into that tesseract. We'll put down the energy tesseract on, well, first, we, we better give the uh, item somewhere to go. So I'll just put down that chest for now, and uh, put down that uh, that item test rack. We'll assign, uh, let's see, storage, and we'll assign it a channel one. Add it and activate it, and we'll call this one. So we'll make this one send only. We'll go to this one, select storage, and activate it. 
I'm going to run and sleep real quick and I'll be right back. Now I forgot to mention the other energy test rack back here in my place is set on MJ power and it's activated. And it's on the energy, redstone energy conduit that's connected to the power converter right here. You'll notice that there's not much pulling from the power converter right now. It's just all there is is the rolling machine. Just pulling a little bit every once in a while. Okay, now we're going to start it. We're going to right click on this, select MJ Power, activate it. And then you'll see your quarry is going to start building. And that's all there is to building a quarry. Now I can't let this finish. <laughs> um, because it is in my Let's Play world and it will cause well it won't be bad. Let's go ahead and do it. Turn it back on. We'll let this thing finish building. As you can see it's building a pretty good clip. Let's check out the power. Oh, I hope I didn't hurt my farm. Power consumption is 43 mi uh, Minecraft jewels. Or MJ's or Michael Jackson's. So, everything's going good here. Now that's on low voltage. High voltage, you get about 10 more MJs per tick. Okay, she's almost done building, and there it goes. That is flying pretty good. I got a power suit on, and it's going as fast as I walk almost in a power suit. So, let me kick that stuff off. Let's see if I can keep up with it. Uh, no, that's faster than you can walk. That's flying. Okay. That's it for me. This is uh, my first tutorial Tuesday. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think. That's it for me. Kung Fu out. Something I forgot to mention is the item test racks. Um, you can see over here, things are going straight into the chest from the item test racks from the quarry. Um, you can't see actually see anything happening. It just you can see the items going into the chest, and that's how the item test racks fit into this picture. All right. That's it for me. Kung Fu out.